All right, you guys, so um, it was brought to my attention um, that the identity that your textbook and that I have in the notes, the piecewise identity for inverse cotangent does not include when x is equal to zero, which is kind of silly since the domain of inverse cotangent is all real numbers. Um, so what they really should have here um, is you could add to the piecewise that when x is equal to zero, inverse cotangent is equal to pi over two. The thing is that doesn't allow you to type inverse cotangent of zero or evaluate inverse cotangent of zero on your calculator. Um, so I had totally forgotten about this identity and Mr. Amarnath reminded me. And this identity for inverse cotangent is a lot easier, I think, to remember. And it applies for all values of x. So basically for all real numbers, all the values that are in the domain of inverse cotangent. Um, so if you wanted to evaluate inverse cotangent on your calculator, or exactly the one identity that you could remember is um, that inverse cotangent of x is equal to pi over two minus inverse tangent of x. So for example, if you wanted to evaluate inverse cotangent of one, that would be equal to pi over two minus inverse tangent of one, okay? Inverse tangent of one, that's angle from quadrant one, that would be the angle pi over four. So it would be minus pi over four, and that equals two pi over four. Remember, inverse cotangent, any of the inverse trig functions evaluated at a positive ratio are going to give you an angle from quadrant one. Um, so that would end up also being equal to pi over four. Um, inverse cotangent of negative one, would be equal to pi over two minus inverse tan of negative one. And inverse tan of negative one is negative pi over four. So pi over two minus negative pi over four is equal to three pi over four, which would be from quadrant two, and that would be where cotangent would be equal um, to negative one and in the range uh, from zero to pi. And then inverse cotangent, so what even brought up this issue, so inverse cotangent of zero would be pi over two minus inverse tan of zero. Inverse tan of zero is zero, therefore inverse cotangent of zero would be equal to pi over two. So you could actually type in the pi over two minus inverse tan of zero and get that pi over two on your calculator or the approximation for pi over two on your calculator.